Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. It's Friday the 13th. It's my lucky day. <laughs> I was born on Friday the 13th, believe it or not. But anyway, I found so much more cool stuff at Dollar Tree. I was so excited they're coming out with all this great stuff. So, I want to jump right in here, show you guys what I found. Uh, the first things I found, I already opened these up because I actually used these to carry some things home in. I think I might have to tag it here. Yes, I do. I stuck it right in the bag there. These are just called reusable totes. Um, that's it. And they have these pretty ones here. I love these. These are those real heavy um, plastic ones. I don't know what, exactly what they're made out of. But these are the really sturdy ones. They open up nice and big on the bottom. With, and they have the really nice handles on them. So I was able to fit all my goodies in these two bags. So I figured, why not? Why get other bags? And then I picked up this one. I thought this one was really pretty, too. And you can use these all year long to go to the grocery store or whatever with. I don't know what I did with that tag. It's not in there, but this one has the nice um, heavy handles on them. But yeah, you can put a lot of stuff in these. These things hold up really, really well. So I grabbed myself a couple more of those. I don't need that tag anymore. And then let's see. I don't think I got, did I get anything else? Valentine's? These, yes. Um, I think this is it. But I found a lot of other cool stuff. I picked up some of these galvanized signs. This one is the, oh, the glare. It is another gloomy, rainy, chilly, nasty day today. And I swear, every time I film a video, it's just the way it's been lately. So the glare is awful again in here. But anyway, these are the galvanized signs. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want with them. You can paint them. They're great on wreaths and, and things like that. But I have another one. Here it is. This one says kisses, and it has a little, oh, that glare. Sorry. I have my overhead light on, too. I usually just have these on, but it's so dark and gloomy in here. But the glare is awful. But you can see the little heart there for the eye. And this one just says kisses. And then this one here says hugs. Um, but these are really nice, big, big, big signs. So I think that's the only Valentine things I picked up. Now, I had a bunch of cute things out for Easter. I only picked up a few little things here, and that is these beads. I thought these were really, really nice. It's this really long strand of beads, and then it has this green jute on the bottom of this one, and then on the other end, it has a carrot. It doesn't want to focus. There we go. It has that really nice little carrot, and these are all nice orange wooden beads. So you could use that like on a tiered tray or whatever you want to use them for. You could take them off and use them for something else. So they had that one. I actually picked up two of these. I didn't even realize I picked up two of those. I thought I got one of each different one. So this one here has all the pinks and blues and green um, pastel colors. And then this one has like your natural jute. has a little bit of a gingham focus camera. There you go. Uh, ribbon on there. And then on the other end of this one has this cute little pink bunny. So, yeah, I just thought these were really, really nice. Um, and then I also picked up this one here. And this one is pinks and yellows and white beads. And, again, it has the jute. And then on these, this one has, like, a um, yellow focus. There we go. Yellow gingham ribbon. And your jute little tassel there on the bottom. And this one has a cute little chickadee on the bottom of this one. These are just really nice. These will be great just to string in with some of your Easter decorations and stuff. I just love those things. And like I said, you want to use the beads for something else, you can just take them right off of there. Now this was more, I guess, I would consider this the spring stuff. This was in, in the garden collection, it's called. And these are wind chimes. It has this cute little bell here. And of course, it's these gnomes. I tried so many years not to really like the gnomes so much but these guys are so darn cute look at them he's got a little flower there and his little bell dingling in the wind and has this little hook here where you can hang it i will probably i don't know i may take those off and use him for something else but i just thought those were really sweet 
So I picked up that guy, and then I got this one here. He, this guy here, he's holding a shovel, and he's got flowers on his hat, or maybe this is a late, well, no, not with that beard. <laughs> and again, it's got the little, almost like a cowbell at the bottom, and this like really cool bronze, rustic looking bell. So I thought that was nice, and they actually sound pretty cool too. And then it has that little hanger there, so you can hang them up. But, yeah, I like those. So I grabbed those. That was the only thing I got out of the gardens. Well, that's not true. Were these in the garden section? I don't know, but I don't want to get to those yet. I did pick up two of these little signs here. This one says, all you need is love and a dog. I thought that was real cute. Of course, you know I have all my animals and cuckoo about all my animals. And then this one says, yes, I really do need all these cats. I only have two. I don't have a ton of cats. <laughs> but, no, oh, he got messed up a little bit. Sometimes these things rub together. And now it has some, it was probably up against that metal wire. It has a black mark on it now. But anyway, you could do something else with these two if you wanted to. You could paint them up even for, you could make this a Halloween cat. But anyway... I like to reuse a lot of Dollar Tree stuff, you guys know that. But I thought those were real nice. And they're real thick. They stand on their own. All right. Let's see. Let's go to Crafter Square section here. I found these little houses. Of course, they're calling them decor. But they have the whole inside is chalk, like a chalkboard that you could write on or paint on or decorate however you would like. It's got a little chimney there. And again, these are those nice, real thick ones that you could, like, um, you know, DIY them up and put them up on a shelf. They'll stand up nice. And I really like this one. This one has like the natural wood color on the outside, like a wood veneer on the outside. And then it's that MDF board. But, you know, of course they're calling these decor. But I thought those were really nice. So I'm going to have to find something to do with those too. Now these signs, I love these signs. These were in the craft section for the spring stuff, I'm guessing. It's called Indoor Garden. Is that what it's called? Yes. But look at these signs. Aren't these nice? These wooden signs. This one has a little watering can, a little bird up here on top. And you could do these up for out in your garden. They're pretty thick. They're not the real thin, thin, flimsy ones. So I'm thinking if you did these up and seal them real good that you could use these outside. Um, so I got that one, and I love this one too. This one has like a little pitchfork. And a little um, flower pot. Oh, that's a boot. The L is actually a boot. I didn't even notice that in the store. That's pretty cool. And again, it's that, you know, just laser cut wood. But I really like these signs, so I'm going to have to do something with those. Because those are going outside if I can figure that out. Now this I absolutely love. It says, life is beautiful. And it's this big watering can. And, you know, these are all raised. It's all like the 3D look to them all. Um, all the words are raised, the butterflies, the flowers. So I thought that was really nice. We're going to have to paint that up. I wish like these would come off easy, but I know they won't. I've tried getting some of these off before, even with a heat gun, and I, I just ruined them. So better off just carefully painting them while they're on there. Because I'm not going to take the chance of ruining them again. But I really like that. And these are, this is very tall. It is, let's see, it is ten and a half inches high, and from side to side there, it is about nine and a half inches wide, so it's a really nice side. This would be beautiful, I think, if you painted this up nice and, you know, used it like on a wreath or something. Very pretty. Now they have these out, too, in this new um, indoor garden collection. And these are like these little, they're calling these Craftwood Animal Picks. And you've got your little hedgehog there. And it's on these long little, I don't know, it almost kind of looks like a popsicle stick kind of thing at the end there. But I don't know what you want to call those, just picks. But I thought these were really cute if you like the little hedgehogs. And you get four of them in there. And then this one has the little snails. These would be great, like in a little arrangement or something, too, sticking out. They'd be so darn cute. So you get four of those and the snails. And then, of course, you have the bunnies. And they're really nice. I really like them a lot. 
But these aren't as thick. These are a lot thinner wood, you know, like the signs were a little bit thicker. These aren't quite as thick, but they're really nice. And then, of course, they have their mushrooms, and you get four of those, too. Yeah, and that's, I guess that's new. I don't know. Did the other ones? I don't think the other ones said indoor garden, but I guess that's the new packaging now. But yeah, I really like those. Very, very cute. And then I picked these up too. This was in the crafter square section. And these these are felt flowers and leaves kit. So I want to try those up, see how they are. It comes with the super glue. And uh, I'm guessing there's directions in here maybe somewhere. I don't know. Whoops. Or you could just throw it. But this one had the pink flower and the blue flower. And they're kind of like raised up, you can see like that, and you get your leaves and little vines or whatever in there. So I grabbed that one, and then I got this one too. This one has the purple and the yellow one in there. Now, it was the only two different color sets that I saw, but I like those a lot. They're very, very pretty. And I did grab a set of these little rubber duckies because these are fun to do for baby things. They're fun to do for spring things. I can't find his face. There we go. And they're just cute. It's a set of two of the little... Um, rubber duckies. These are the mini ones. They did have the bigger ones too. Um, I didn't see them today, but I know they have bigger ones than that too. But I did grab them little guys. Now the rest of this stuff is just little fairy garden figures. And these guys are so darn cute that I can't even stand it. And they're a lot bigger. So this set here has a little gnome on a tractor. And I guess that's, yep, that's his little pig. Look how cute. I don't know if you can see the little face on there. You can focus up close. There you go. Really can't see his face in there. But he's got a little basket of apples on the back there. And um, that was really nice. And then this here is a little tree stump that's got a face on it. And then a little welcome sign. I just thought these are so nice. They're a lot bigger than the other ones. But they're just really, really cool. And then this one has mushrooms and a welcome sign and a little, I think that has like a little watering spigot over top of these flowers here. But those I really like too. I hope you can see these good enough. All this stinking glare is driving me crazy. But those are really nice. Now this I really loved. This has a fairy hanging off of this beautiful flowery tree. And it's just a great size. These are so much bigger than the other ones were. And I love that. I want to see her little face. Yeah, you know what? The face is actually... I'm going to try to hold up closer if you can see her little face. There we go. See her little face there? It's kind of zooming in on her face. But they're actually painted really nice. So I like that. And then I got, of course, a little pack of just the little gnome guys. This guy's wearing a little hula skirt. Um... He's got a little ukulele, I guess, and this guy looks like he's surfing. So those are really cute. And I think I have something here that would kind of go with, the, oh yeah, here we go. They also had this boat with this pelican on here. So that was really cute. You could, I guess that stands up like a little house, a little boat house. So that would go good with those little guys that are surfing and stuff. But yeah, ugh, this glare. Um, I should have just opened these up and showed you because I'm going to end up putting them in a different container anyway. But look at this one here. This one has like a rooster in it and a little chicken house, um, a chicken coop, whatever you want to call it. And there's, it's showing up really, really ready orange. It's not quite that orange, I don't think, how it's showing up on camera. But here's the little chicken coop. It's got some eggs coming out of it there. And yeah, it's really nice. And it has like a... The detail on these are so nice. There you can see it has like that little, I don't know, wire, put a chicken wire side there. And then this side is all like a, oh, that's not going to focus, a wood grain. All right. Anywho, now this one has the carrots coming out of the ground, 10 cents, and then a bigger carrot that has a welcome sign on it. Thought that was really nice. Hopefully, I hope you guys can see these. Ugh, this weather just makes me so mad. Like I said, when it's bright and sunny, everything shows up so nice and clearly in here. <laughs> but of course, it's another dreary day. 
Now this one here is just a pack of mushrooms. Try to hold them up closer. Maybe I get rid of some glare. There we go. A little bit better. But I like those. I just love the size of these. Some of the other ones were just so teensy tiny before. Teensy tiny before. Now this one has like a little. I don't know if he's a hedgehog or a groundhog in here. Um, I can't see the back of them. He might be a groundhog. And some fresh little apples and things. Are they apples? I guess so. That one kind of looks like a beet, but there we go. Let's get his little face up there. Look how cute he is. <laughs> but that's it. That is what I picked up. And I'm sure there's going to be more of these that I haven't seen yet. And hopefully this year I get to doing my fairy gardens. I have so much fairy garden stuff and I just never seem to get to it or figure out exactly how I want to do it. But with these bigger figures, I think it's going to be really great. So, all right, let me clean this up. Go grab little P so he can come in for a quick visit. Um, he's probably out there sleeping. And all, all my birds are real quiet. It's so dark and dreary. But let me go grab him, and I will be right back. All right, here comes little P. Whoops. you got to see this beak. Look at that beak. He is out there with my husband watching him, and he was... Having himself a little piece of banana bread. <laughs> Most of it's on your beak, though, I think. There you go. Wipe it off. Do you want me to get it? No, you don't care. Here, let me clean it off. You're a mess. Let me clean off your beak. Here, wipe it with a paper towel. Can I wipe your beak? Oh, get mad at me. There you go. Don't want people looking at you with a dirty beak. <laughs> You are such a little stinker. You get into everything. <laughs> Look at his tongue going. He probably has it in his mouth. Ugh. I'm just trying to get it off your sticky beak. Go say hi to everybody. Hmm? Yeah, did you get a taste of banana bread? Yeah. I know. You're spoiled. Was he good? <laughs> oh my gosh. From that little tiny piece seriously I mean like not even the size of my thumbnail that he can make a huge mess with huh we have blueberry face today that's for everybody with blueberry face you got blueberry cheeks you got blueberry cheeks look at that yes you do What have you been up to today? Actually, you've been pretty quiet today. Like I said, when it's cloudy and rainy looking out, they're they're pretty chill. Huh. Boy, on some, some sunny days when all the birds and everything and squirrels are outside running around, oh, these guys can get loud. Especially you, huh? Yes, you can. You gotta clean your toenails and everything now? Or are you picking it out of your beak? And he can't stand when his beak's dirty. He's trying to get it clean. Sorry, I don't have anything in here to clean your beak with. You want me to wipe it off again? I know he yells, but he lets me wipe his beak. You don't like, he does not like a sticky beak. Is that better? Yes? No? Alright. I don't know if I saved it. I have a piece of your yucca wood in here. I didn't know if you were going to be able to eat. I didn't bring another piece in because his face was so covered with that sticky banana bread. No, you don't want it. He said, I just had banana bread. I don't want a stupid piece of wood. We well, can't have any more banana bread. No. You only get a taste. It's not good for you. I know. I think you've actually been really good today. He was out there. He loves watching the coffee maker. Make the coffee. So he was out there watching that earlier. Huh, is that your favorite thing to do? I don't know why. He, he just does. What else did you do today? I don't think you did much of anything. You've been pretty quiet. Which is not you. Yeah. He still wants to get the sticky off. He doesn't like it.
Yeah. To get it all, no more banana bread for you. You're having such an issue trying to get your beak clean. Oh my goodness, we need to trim this off again, P. This little tip here needs to go. It's getting too long before you end up breaking it off. I know that one time he grabbed my cell phone case and he had his beak right inside where the case splits, you know, splits open when you put it on there. And he got his beak in there and then the phone fell and it just took the tip of his beak off. And oh, did that bleed, huh? Yes, it did. But they're kind of like fingernails. They grow back as long as you're not, you know, way up high here damaging anything. But these tips, they grow just like a fingernail. Actually, I cut that off with a finger or a toenail clipper, the tip, and then file it down. Huh? Had your Aunt Debbie show me how to do all that. She's the um, lady at the parrot store. And since he gets so car sick that we don't take him up there unless I absolutely have to, to get groomed. So now we know how to do it ourselves. We've been taught. I don't like doing it, but. It's better than having you sick. And we've tried everything to get him not to be. All different ways he's ridden there. Even took him out of the cage, let my husband hold him in the car. That didn't work. He still, he just threw up all over my husband. So. But now we know how to do it at home. So you're good. And luckily, if you need to go to the vet, our vet is only about, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a mile away from here. It's really close by. It's not far at all to get to the to where his veterinarian is, huh? Your veterinarian? And luckily that one is the only one like right in the area that has an avian vet. Because you really need a vet that, you know, has dealt with birds. So they usually have an avian vet. Huh. So if we have an issue you don't have far to go. Right? Right. We're done with this now. What do you want? Did I play with your toes? I like to play with his toes every once in a while because then it's much easier. He'll let me, you know, clip his toenails a little bit and I don't have to really hold him down too much. Right, Pay? Get to play with your toes. Yeah. What do you think? It's like I want some sunshine. I'm so bored. Huh. Everybody's. My house is so quiet right now. It's ridiculous. It usually isn't this time of day. All right. Well, I guess we'll let everybody go. What do you think? Yeah, you're looking up there. You know what I'm talking about? You're looking up here? You got to say hi to everybody up here? Up here. I know, I heard something outside too. You are such a nosy busybody. Yes, you are. All right, you're going to come today? Come on. You want to come up here? We say goodbye to everybody? Come on. Oh, he gets so mad when I want him to leave. Come on. Well, you can't stay in here. If I shut these lights off, then he'll come with me because he doesn't want to be in here in the dark. Huh, that's the only way I'm going to get you to go, huh? Come on, are you going to come willingly? I thought you could come up here and say goodbye to everybody. No, what's that black mark? Oh, that's one of your feathers molting. Hey, look at my pretty feathers. Oh, all right. Well, we're going to go. Say thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you guys all next time. Say have a great day, everyone.